Welcome back to my channel, Planty Princess 92. My name is Ashley. And today I finally have an update and will be propagating my variegated Monstera Adansonia mint. I have been waiting for this to start rooting ever since I've done that video uh, on air layering this plant. Now, when I did do that video, there was a little bit of a root already started, but I kept misting the sphagnum, made sure that it was a little moist at all times, and the root that it grew is definitely ready to be propagated. I'm going to pot it up in some lava rocks. Um, I decided to try that with this plant because I've been having some difficulties with yellowing leaves and stuff like that. I wasn't really sure if it was due to too much light, uh, too much water, too less of water. So I figured, um, as you saw, I replanted this in soil. If you didn't see that video, go ahead and check that out after this video. I'll link that up at the top for you guys. Um, but I wanted to try a different medium so I can kind of see what works best for me for this plant. So I'm going to go ahead and use lava rocks because they are very porous, very airy. Now you can use these in two different ways. You can water it like soil, let it dry out, and then water again. Or you can grow it semi-hydroponically as you would with LECA and keep it in a reservoir with water. I think I'm going to start by watering it as if you would soil just because I want to make sure this plant can dry out as much as it needs to in order to not be overwatered. So without any further ado, let me stop jabbering because I am super excited to show you how well this root grew and chop it off. We'll start by unwrapping the, I'm gonna take the moss pull out just for easier access to this plant. It hasn't attached itself yet, so that will be no problem. So I'm gonna start by unwrapping this plant. I am using shears, so you need to be very careful while doing this, that way you do not cut the root. I know my mom is behind the camera right now, like, watching me like a hawk, like, you better not cut that root. Okay, so amazing. Now, I would say that it's, I don't know if I would call this a slow rooter um, because really in my opinion, it, it, it didn't root as quickly as your standard green format in Sony I would, but it didn't take too long either. But it did root slowly in the sense that it didn't grow a lot. So like it started in a decent time frame, again, slower than your standard green form, but it, it didn't take too long, but it hasn't grown a significant root system in that time period. It did start enough that I am going to chop this off and start propagating it. So that's what we have started from air layering. Now you can leave this if you're not comfortable with propagating your variegated uh, Adansonia at this point. I think I can get this to establish well and be just fine with the root that it has. Um, I definitely wouldn't propagate this plant by any means without a root just because it is so expensive and I don't want to lose one single leaf if I don't have to. That's why I definitely wanted to air layer it and start it rooting before I made any cuts into this plant. So I was going to I checked on this root uh, last week and it was around the same size. So I wanted to chop it then, but I wanted to wait because this last leaf was currently unfurling. By the way, look at that beauty. So gorgeous with that bright spot of white. And as you see, it's very green compared to like the yellowing of the other leaves. So I'm determined to make sure this leaf stays healthy. So anyways, this leaf was unfurling and I didn't want to make the cut until it was unfurled because I didn't want to stop it from unfurling or cause it to die off from making the cut. 
Um, so I waited. It, it unfurled today. It started to unfurl a couple days ago. And today I came to check it out and it was unfurled. So I was super excited to just get started on propagating this gorgeous plant. So I'm going to go ahead and make the cut right below the root. So I will be cutting right here at an angle. I'm going to cut as close to this leaf and this node as I can without affecting the leaf or cutting the leaf off. Um, but I like to, I like, you don't have to, I like to cut it as close to that last node as possible. That way when the new node or new um, growth point forms, it's more, it's as close to looking like it wasn't cut as possible. So that's what I like to do. You also want to make sure you cut enough below the node that is rooting or is going to root. That way it has space for the plant to root. Also having a little bit of extra stem kind of gives it a little bit more establishment to hold itself into the soil or whatever medium you choose to use. But you also, if you do have a longer internode, you don't want to leave it too long because that can rot, especially if you are propagating in water or sphagnum. So just a quick little tip there. So let's go ahead and make this cut. Nice, clean, easy cut. As you see here, ooh, this definitely wasn't started. There is another root on this side poking out. That is super exciting. Also, there are a couple roots poking out right here. So I will definitely make sure I submerge up to this node in my lava rocks. That way I have two nodes that have roots to kind of carry this plant along until the roots get more established that it will be ready to continue growing. So this is what my cutting will look like. It's actually really nice because it has three leaves. And ever since I put it in soil, the leaves have stopped yellowing. So you can really, it, it's hard to kind of even tell they're yellowing. If you look towards the outer edges, you can see a little bit of that yellow, but it's honestly not too bad. So also that leaves this plant with one leaf left. Um, but that's all right. It will continue to grow more leaves. So we'll grow another growth point. Um, and what's nice is obviously this is the one, the mother plant. So it already has that nice established root system. So I'm deciding to use a little three inch mesh pot. I decided to use a mesh pot rather than your standard pot, which is the nursery pot with the holes in the bottom, because for fear of overwatering this plant, having all these extra holes will help aerate the lava rocks a little better, help more air get to the roots, because as we all know, the roots do need oxygen to survive, and it will help dry out the lava rocks a little bit quicker. I definitely would prefer to have to water this plant a little more by letting it dry out faster rather than having it water rather than watering it less and having it be overwatered. So we're gonna go ahead and get this potted up real quick. There we have it. She's all in her new home and ready to grow. So because I just made the cut, I am going to go ahead and water her. I am keeping her in this dish just because she has all these holes for when I water. She'll be able to drain out. And that way all the little rocks don't fall out and get onto the floor or the bottom of my grow tent. Um, but I am not going to be keeping it the water full in the reservoir. I am going to water this, like I said, as you will with soil for the time being. So we're going to go ahead, give her a good watering. I'll let her sit in that water for maybe 10, 15 minutes just so the rocks can absorb some of that water. But then I will take her out, dump that water out of this reservoir, and then stick her back in it so any excess water can drain and the pebbles can fall into the pot and not onto the floor or the table. So I'll let her sit in this for 10 minutes or so, and then I will take her out and let her drain. 
I hope this video encouraged you to start air layering and propagating your variegated Monstera adansonii. I know for myself, this took a lot of courage and I was really nervous to do it. I still am nervous, but as with everything, I think it will grow just fine. Thank you guys again for joining me in another video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye.